Do you know what, Annie? No, tell me. I've got a job at the paper. Really? As a journalist? I'll start as an office gopher and take it from there. That's great. Totally different from this dive. Don't you like being a waitress? Yes, I do, but it's not exactly my dream job. I've always wanted to be a journalist, and now I've got the chance. Bob Johnson, Chief Editor. Emma. Welcome aboard, Emma. I hope you will like it here at the paper. I'm sure I will. How many people work here? We're a small but tight group. I'm the Chief Editor and owner of this paper. Carla is the Managing Editor and my right hand, you could say. Malcolm and Lucy are reporters. And then there's Tom, our own star photographer. You can start the day by introducing yourself to everyone. Okay, boss. Call me Bob. Do you have any questions? Where will I sit? You'll sit with Malcolm and Lucy in the editorial office. Yours is the desk in the corner. You'll find some equipment in the drawer that will be of use to you. What type of equipment will I be using? A beeper so that we'll be able to get hold of you. A notebook, a computer. I asked Tom to lend you one of his cameras. You'll have to ask him how it works. I'm not good at these things. I'm pretty good at taking pictures, and I can develop film, too. Oh, that's great. You're a real master photographer, are you? No, not exactly. What will I be doing? You'll be an assistant to all of us, helping out with research and paperwork. Research sounds like fun. Does that mean looking up facts? Exactly. That will be your main job. I'll do my best. I think you should go and get to know the others now. But they all seem so busy. I don't want to disturb them. You won't disturb them. I'm sure they can't wait to meet you. It's as big as a shark. I know, it's a monster. I had to use a harpoon to catch it. Harpoon? Isn't that what you use for whales? Well, maybe not a harpoon, but it was a large hook anyway. It must weigh at least 40 pounds. Yes, it took me all night to pull it in. There were three of us fighting it in pouring rain. That's some adventure. Angling is the ultimate sport. Strength, patience, and intelligence. Sometime you have to tell me the whole story, but I guess I should get some work done. Oh, of course. That's the spirit, Emma. Close the door. 
Oops, I'm sorry. Close the door, you stupid person. Hi, are you Carla? I'm Emma. Hello? And how old might you be? Are you sure you finished school? Yes, I'm 18, and I'm sure I finished school. I hope I didn't disturb you. Well, I am a bit busy. Was there anything you wanted? I just want to know who everyone is. You are the paper's managing editor, I've been told. Yes, that's right. Come to me if you have any questions. Well, I was wondering why you don't have a youth page in your paper. A youth page? Yes, one that's designed especially for teenagers, for instance. Well, there's no room for it. That's a shame. I'm sure it would be a hit. Sure, but now I have to get back to work. You'll have to excuse me. Well, I was thinking you should do more features on food. Food? You could recommend different recipes and restaurants and stuff. This is not a food magazine. If people want to read about food, they can read menus. But it would be nice with some different themes. What kind of themes? Like celebrate Halloween with the Roseman Valley Post. You'll have to excuse me, but I must get back to work. Well, I noticed that there is very little fashion in the paper. This is not Paris, dear. No, but a little wouldn't hurt. I must get back to work. Well, I have a question. Why do you do so many features on fishing? Well, that's Bob's fault, really. He has a thing for fishing rods and rubber boots. You like fish, too, I see. Yes, but as a pet. Not on my plate. Is that a piranha? Yes, they can eat a person in less than a minute. So I shouldn't be cuddling it then. <laughs> you could try. Well, speaking of which, I might as well tell you right away. What? You are not allowed to enter my office when I'm not here. I won't. Good. Then that's settled. I have to get back to work now, dear. Oh, what a creepy fish. Don't scare little Pierre. What a painting. That's an original Jimmy James. It's very... big. Hi, welcome. I'm Malcolm, I'm a reporter. I'm Emma. Emma. Sweet name for a sweet girl. Thanks. What are you working on now? Ah, uh, a dead dull story on angling. Bob never gives up on the fishing stories. I've noticed there is a huge interest in fishing in this paper. And what about you? What are you interested in? Becoming a good journalist. Well, you've come to the right place. I'll teach you some tricks. Do you ever get to do boring covers? No, not really. I usually get to choose them myself. What sort of tricks do you mean? Well, how to get people to talk, for instance. How do you? You have to get a feeling for the person you're interviewing, and then adapt your tactics. Sometimes you use small talk to make them lower the guard. Other times you have to attack or provoke them. Hmm. 
That sounds a bit manipulative. Maybe so, but our job is to reveal the truth. Does Lucy get to choose what to write about, too? She's so shy, it's hard to tell what she wants to do. How long have you been working here? Just for a month. I used to work for a bigger paper. How come you moved to a local paper? I got sick of the big city stress. The atmosphere is better at a smaller paper. Despite angling? <laughs> yes, despite angling. Hi. Hi. You're Lucy, right? Yes, and you're Emma. It'll be nice not being the only girl around here. What about Carla? Yes, but she's not a girl. She's an old wo woman. That Carla, is she a bit weird or to say the least? Have you seen her carnivorous fish? So Carla has a carnivorous fish. What an unusual pet. Maybe it suits her personality. Sometimes I've seen her talking to it, as if it were a person. That's weird. What are you working on now? I'm filing articles in alphabetical order. Are you filing articles? But I thought you were a reporter. I thought so too. But I get to do all the leftover jobs. Bob said maybe I could come with you or Malcolm on a cover story. That's fine with me, but it's probably nicer to go with Malcolm. You'd probably prefer to work with him. I was wondering about something. Where's that Tom character? I guess he's still in the dark room. He practically lives there. Why would I rather go with Malcolm on a cover? He gets to do all the fun covers. Of course he was the one who got to interview the president when he visited town. So what do you get to write about? Well, last time it was the vote on the color of the parking meters. 42% voted for red and 58 voted for blue. Then there was the big debate on the local council regarding which flowers to plant in the square. For some reason, the young people want tulips, and the old people want geraniums. That's how exciting my pieces are. Why does Malcolm get all the fun jobs? He used to work for a big paper in New York, plus he's Carla's favorite. I didn't know she had favorites. Well, she dislikes some less than others. Don't you get angry when Malcolm gets to do all the fun stuff? It's not his fault. I'd like to ask Tom if I could use the dark room sometime. You can always ask, but don't go in there while he's working or he'll go mad. I'd love to chat some more, but there are some things I have to do. Okay, see you. See you. Isn't it about time to get a CD player? No, if I turn the temperature up, this place will turn into a sauna. Let's try angling. The newspaper has published more than 3,000 articles on angling. Notebook and pen. A camera, property of Tom Taylor. There's already film in the camera. Great! A beeper. I feel really professional.
I have some work for you, Emma. Our very own movie star, Kit Grace, is coming to town. Oh, is she from this town? She is really famous. Yes, and she has not been home for 20 years now. So we were hoping to get a great interview with her. I read that Kit Grace doesn't give interviews. She doesn't, but I'll have Malcolm charm her. What do you want me to do? Malcolm needs help with the research. Try to find out as much as possible about Kit's background. How do I do research? You can start by interviewing one of Kit Grace's old school friends, Debbie Winslow. You will find her in Debbie's hair salon in the old town. A hair salon? Is she a hairdresser? Yes, and not a very good one from what I've heard. Excuse me, I'm looking for Debbie's hair salon. Do you know where it is? Er, uh, no. No idea, I'm afraid. <laughs> 